Hello, it's Ness Tilson here. This is a short video to answer a question that was sent to me by Terry. He was asking whether we can put um, raised panels onto a framed door. Um, as you probably know, Polybod's not very good at modelling all the details of a project. That is, Polybod is mainly manufacturing orientated, so you get all the cutting lists and the manufacturing files, but actually the actual design of certain details like mouldings, raised panels and things that are in the solid wood are not really dealt with with polyboard. But this said, it is possible to get around this for certain, certain representations like for instance a raised panel. Here I have a design of a door that I put into a framework if we stop it moving the door we can the door is opened in the framework we can make it we can turn it around and um, we have put on the door a couple of raised panels to do this is quite easy but it does have some limits and I'm going to show you how we do this and then we'll talk about the limits so here we have um, a door which has been set up in polyboard. Um, to set up a door like this we use polyboard's assembly function where we take a panel and which is the actual door itself and we create an assembly right on the panel which with um, with a framework and some panels. In 3D we can see it like this. And this door has been set up in a frame. The frame is in fact the uh, a cabinet. So you can have a look at my last video to see how to set up a door with some panels and set it into a framework. Um, and what we would like to do here is just simply put in some raised panels here. Now Polyboard doesn't have a function to put in raised panels, but we can simulate raised panels. Simulate raised panel, if I select the door here, I click on the door and it becomes green, and we can see that um, once we've got the door, we have all the different parts of the door which are listed in the properties. Um, the properties of the door, let's change the panel. For instance, take the central panel here. If I click on the central panel, it's selected in, in yellow. And if I open the, edit the panel structure itself, um, I can edit the panel and I can put in what I call an inner tooling, which is in fact a cutout. I can cut out the middle of the panel um, if I cut out the middle of the panel with an inner tooling, I can say, okay, let's add a cutout, and I can change, I can cut out any shape I want in the middle of this panel. Let's take a square, because what we want, in fact, is to cut out a section in the middle and put into that section uh, another material. Let's cut out the section in the, in the middle, and let's give the height of the cutout, um, let's give the height of the cutout, uh, 100 millimeters less than the total height of the panel which is up here so that's called a 195 that's 100 millimeters less than the height and the width let's give it 100 millimeters less than the width here which is 420 and that will leave us around the edge of the panel here just a five a five centimeter 50 millimeter band which will be our which should be the flat part of our raised panel um, if we see what we've done here, what we've actually done is cut out the middle of the panel here. But Polyboard has a strange, has a well, it's a very strange parameter that we can add. We look, this panel is still selected, and now we can see that we have another parameter which has opened itself up in the properties box of this panel, which is called inner tooling. If we click open inner tooling, we can see the material that is being used in the inner tooling. By default, it's what we call a nail panel. That is a nothing. It's an empty V, an empty. It's just been a, it's just a cutout. But I can ask for it to be yes, and I'll be able to modify the nail panel, the empty space, and put in another type of material. That instead of taking the actual material of the panel which is five millimeter beach let's put in some 30 millimeter beach and see what this gives 30 millimeter beach now i go into the into the door and we see that this middle section is now 30 millimeter beach 30 millimeter beach 
and it becomes a raised panel. And now we have a raised panel, and we can do the same thing by clicking on the second panel, central panel 2 here, edit inner tooling, let's add a shape which is the rectangle, the height of the rectangle being 100 less the height of the panel, which will be 500, and the width of the width being 100 less the width, which would be 420. Okay, and now when the inner tooling parameter shows itself, we will put into this not a nail panel, but changing the material into a beach, a laminated beach of 30 millimeters, and now we have two raised panels. So that's quickly how you put in a raised panel onto a framed door. Be careful though, this door is when you get the cutting list, you will have a cutting list which will give you the dimensions of each panel, which will be the five millimeter board, and you will have also the dimensions of a different panel of the interior raised section of the panel, which will be in 30 millimeters. If you are using, you just have to be aware of this, so that don't, you know, you have to eliminate, keep the five millimeter panel size and give it a 30 millimeter thickness all round, or whatever thickness you need, for the machining of the raised panel. And uh, discard, in fact, the smaller panel, which is in 30 millimeters on the inside. Okay, so I hope that's been interesting for you, and um, hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.